ECDL Advanced Access Lesson 14 Sum. We're just starting Section 3 on the topic of queries, and this section contains seven lessons followed by two revision exercises. So let's start the first of these lessons, Lesson 14 Sum. Queries can be created in Access where summary values only are displayed rather than individual records. The summary values can be displayed for the whole query or as subtotals for certain groups of records. Common summary calculations include finding the total and average of a set of figures, the maximum and minimum value, and counting the number of records. These calculations are carried out on a total line within the query. OK, so let's open the premises database. This database holds information on commercial properties for sale in a large city. Create a new query in Design View based on the commercial table. Create Query Design. OK, the first thing we need to do is to add the commercial table. And we want to add the following fields. Location. And we also want to select Price. If we make sure the Design tab is selected, and then click on the Totals button. As you'll see, a new row appeared on the grid marked Total, with the default entry of Group By. Click in the Total box for the Price field, then click on the down arrow to display the drop-down list. Select Sum from this list. OK, now let's run the query. So up at the top left-hand corner, Run. Note that this is a summary query. Only the totals are shown. The records are grouped by location, and the price is totaled for each location. OK, let's switch back to Design View, and then Save. We're actually going to carry on from this point in the next lesson in which we're going to discuss count. OK, I look forward to seeing you then.